Alright guys, I am in an incredibly good mood right now because about two days ago, gotta tell you guys a little story before I start teaching you this tutorial. Two days ago, I was walking around and I bumped into one of my friends and she was with this other girl that I never even met before, but she was not my friend, the other I mean, my friend's pretty too, but the girl she was with was, oh my god, incredibly hot. She was like way out of my league. So later that night, um, I sent her a friend request because, I don't know, I'm an idiot, and I was like, eh, why the heck not? And just like two minutes ago, got a chime on my phone. She just accepted my friend request. So I don't even know what to say to her because I'm nervous. And like I said, she is like like a nine, and I'm <laughs> I'm not like a uh, like disgusting, but I don't know. Just saying she's out of my league. So if anyone has any suggestions what I should say to her, thinking about just messaging her back, like, hey, but that's stupid so give me something good and uh, later on I'll send that message and uh, we'll see how it goes I'll keep you guys up to date but for now let's get back to programming and the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is how to convert a lowercase letter to an uppercase one so <laughs> you know I'm probably gonna be giddy all the tutorial because this girl accepted my freaking friend request but you should see her all right, so see if I can uh, concentrate. So let's make a couple uh, characters. First one's going to be a lowercase. The second one, char b, set this equal to char a, and I'll just copy this because I'm lazy. Char a, char b, and we'll set this one equal equal to uppercase, which is f, and we'll set this last one equal to. Do we want to set it? Yeah, we'll just set it equal to like a number or something. So now we have three characters. One is lowercase, one is uppercase, and one is a number. You can use a symbol too if you want, like a dollar sign, um, parentheses, whatever. So basically what I want to teach you guys is how to take a lowercase letter and convert it into an uppercase letter. So of course we're going to print out a character on the screen and just print out each of these on the new line. And the function for this is two upper. Two upper. Kind of looks like a cool little word. But whenever we pass it in a character, such as A, of course, what this is going to print out is an uppercase A. So before, I think this is one of the first functions where we actually modified the variable. I mean, in the past functions, what we did is we were just testing it. We didn't actually change the value, we just tested it. Was it um, alphabetic? Was it a digit? So on and so forth. But this is actually going to change this lowercase a and print out an uppercase a. So now you're wondering okay, well, what's going to happen if I pass it in a number that's not lowercase, such as capital F, or something that isn't even a letter, like 7? Well, the rules for this function are this. Whenever you pass it in a character that's lowercase, it's going to turn it into uppercase. Whenever you pass it in anything else, it's pretty much going to give you back the same thing that you pass it in, since it has nothing to do with it. So again, it's going to turn A into capital A. It's going to turn capital F into nothing. Leave it the same. Same thing with numbers. Simple enough. So the reason that you might want to use this is I don't know maybe you're making a program and you let uh, people enter their first and last name well if they enter their name like this Bucky Roberts what you would want to do is take that first character and uppercase it and also it's pretty cool because you can use that same function and run it on that first character no matter what if it's uppercase hey run it anyways it stays uppercase pretty freaking sweet definitely useful um this is one uh, function of course I don't use C but I use it on my website my social network very handy so now we're gonna take a break from characters and I want to talk to you guys about a couple string functions so of course that is why I included this little file right here string .h. this header file comes with a bunch of cool built-in string functions and with strings you can do things like replace them with each other combine them, tack them onto one another, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right now. So go ahead and make a string and make it like a hundred characters long because we need to make sure it has a bunch of space in there for what we're about to do to it. And I'm just gonna put something stupid in here like hey right now. 
So right now we have this string called ham and it's actually a character array but right now it's just equal to hey. Pretty freaking stupid. So let's see if we can spice this, spice this up a little bit. So the first function I'm going to be teaching you guys about is string cat. Now unfortunately that doesn't mean strangle my cat outside. It means string concatenate which pretty much means in everyday language tack on one string to the end of another string. So this takes a couple pieces of information or parameters. The first one is what is the original string? Well in this case it's just ham. It's just this string right here. Now the second parameter that it takes is what do you want to tack on to it? What other string do you want to add to the end of this? And we'll just add the string Bucky. So if we printed this out right now which I guess we can do. Now to print out a string, remember it's percent %s. And we'll just bump it on a new line. And we'll print out ham. So basically what this did is it took the original string, which was hey, not hey like a horse, just like hey, what up, beautiful girl that I just met. And it added another string in this case Bucky. Now the cool thing about this is this string is now part of ham. So we need to make sure whenever we're creating this original string ham that it is long enough to hold whatever strings you're going to tack onto it. So originally this was one, two, three, four, five bytes long. Remember all the characters plus the null terminator that zero special character at the end. So this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we need to make sure that we never pass 100 because this can only um, hold 100 characters. So if we keep tacking on strings to the end, this back, hey, Bucky, um, you, uh, what else can we say? You smell. So if we add something like that, again, um, just reiterating one more time, make sure that all, or excuse me, make sure that your original string is long enough to hold anything you add on to the end of it, because if you go past it, you're going to have a real bad time. So another thing I want to point out is, actually I'll teach you guys about one last function for this tutorial, and this is called strcpy string copy. And what this does is it essentially replaces one string with another string. So the first one is what's your original string? Well it's ham and right now ham is equal to hey Bucky you smell. But say we wanted to get rid of that completely because guys I don't smell I promise you. We wanted to replace it with Bucky is awesome. Well what this is going to do is it's pretty much going to take this string and it's going to overwrite everything in this string right here. So now Bucky you smell is no longer more and now ham is equal to, let me fix that, it's annoying me, Bucky is awesome. Pretty freaking sweet. So I know that these functions look kind of uh, similar but string cat means tack something onto the end of a string and string copy means replace one string with another simple stuff and we're going to be using this a lot in the future so for now thank you guys for uh watching and guys give me something good to say to her i can't f this up she is freaking hot so well i'll see you later